welcome to Ghana Gas and uh, for this um, emergency uh, press media briefing, me media briefing on uh, a particular subject matter to do with our project development areas that um, Ghana Gas is supposed to um, undertake around that area. And I think that is very important that recently we had the three members of parliament in those constituencies, Ellen Bele, uh, the other one uh, in the Enzima area, uh, you know, making some serious allegations against Ghana Gas in connection with uh, projects that has been done in the area or has not been done in the areas. And then um, I think that they didn't do their research well and they came out exposing themselves. And I think that it is good as a company to come and set the record straight that we were surprised, in fact, to hear from the three members of parliament in that area talking about projects in the area, forgotten that um, Ghana Gas, through the project funds or currently funding project, has put in a kitty $5.6 million, which is equivalent to 40, mil 40 million Ghana cities, in a kitty for project development in what we call project affected areas in the Zema area. And this was, I mean, taken as a board decision which the Honorable Member of Parliament for Elembele, Amakufibua, was part of those. He was then the Energy Minister when this decision was taken by the then board. But the implementation stage was taken when this MPP administration took over and we've been able to put that amount of money down for project affected areas, which is 40 million Ghana cities, which 5.6 million dollars and we were surprised that if anything at all he would have done his checks and gone around to i mean clarify certain things before before going out there to make those statements and i think it's absolutely disappointing for him to make such statement ghana gas is working with the people and apart from that there has been a lot of confusion within the constituencies as to what they will do with the project funding money for the affected project areas. And they've always been a problem. And the money is still sitting down there. I want to set it on record. It's still sitting down there. And we have, they've come back and forth in taking decisions on what to do with those monies. And it's still there, and we have to set the record. But we've been able to use some of the money to do projects like um, four unit, four unit, two bedroom self-contained for teachers' quarters so far, and then ultra modern nursery for them. And the rest is just sitting down there waiting for them to come with their project uh, decision for them to, 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 to use the money for. So that money is for the Western region, project affected communities in the Western region. And basically, Ghana Gas has earmarked that amount of money for them to be used for project affected communities for development. And for anybody to come out and say that Ghana Gas has been using monies to develop other communities instead of them, I don't think any other region in Ghana have that benefit from one company giving them 40 million Ghana cities for projects or for development in the area. So we want to set the record straight on that. And so for the three honorable members of parliament to go out there and make those statements, I think that they have to come back clean on that. Apart from that, Ghana Gas, despite giving them that kitty, that amount of uh, project fund for, in a kitty for them, Ghana Gas has gone around doing other projects in the community, which is not in that money, the budget of that money, but different one that we've been doing for them. I mean, when you talk about education, healthcare, water and sanitation, road infrastructure, support for security services, 
sports, construction of astroturfs, hockey pitches, and sponsorship, and then other livelihood as well. So I want to just give you a few examples of some of the projects that we've done so far in the area. In fact, in the Elembele district and other areas that you can talk about a constituency. When you take the health sector, uh, we Ghana girls have constructed a Sita water closet toilet in Alabokazo, which is also situated in the constituency of Ama Kofibua. Construction of a mechanized borehole in Alabokazo as well. well. That is health and sanitation. When it comes to uh, education projects, um, we talk about uh, construction of a four unit teacher's quarters. I mentioned before at Anochi, Anochi, which is uh, an area in the Zima area. Construction of four unit teacher quarters, teachers' quarters at Azem Dazuazo, as Azem Dazuazo. The construction of uh, a unit modern nursery facility at Azem Dazuazo as well. And then support of Insulazu Development Community Rehabilitation of their community school building as well. And then uh, donation to teachers and learning materials to Insulazu as well as uh, the rest. And then when it comes to sports, sports, um, Ghana guys has taken upon ourselves to always give monies to Karela Football Club and then Enzema Kotoko Football Club as a way of supporting the team, uh, the teams there. And also, we've done also cash support to Enzema Event Management in the organization of educational programs in the constituency as and when they need it. When you talk about transportation, Ghana Gas has given a 33-seater coastal bus to Elembele Elderly Center. And I'm surprised that the Honorable Member of Parliament didn't know this. We're giving them a 33-seater elderly care center, elderly bus or bus, a bus, a big bus, 33, which is 33-seater, to the elderly care center to serve the people, the elderly in the area, when they want to go somewhere or move around, they can go. And then also support for traditional authorities as well. Um, we've given them buses for the traditional authorities in the traditional area as well. And then refurbishment of a Atwabo Palace with all the facilities that you can think of. And then we also donated cash during the Kundum Festival. Anytime there's Kundum Festival, Ghana Gas donates to Zima chiefs and the traditional authorities and all that. And then other institutional support. I mean, these are the ones that we can just put together, but we are going to give you other salient ones as well. And then we talk about the support for district assembly on Farmers Day, support for um, senior high schools, prison schools, uh, uh, Bonzo Kwaku Senior High School uh, prize giving day. Support for celebration of Kwame Nkrumah anniversary uh, in Ingronvo. And then community support as well. And then the security agency support for Ghana Police Service, Ellen Bella District Command in the rehabilitation of staff accommodation. Staff accommodation in Ellen, Ellen Bella District. And the renovation of refurbishment of residents of Marine Police in Enyinase. Marine Police in Enyinase as well. So apart from that, Ghana Gas is building an ultramoding trauma center, which is going to be one of the biggest in West Africa sub-region, trauma center for emergencies and accident situations in the area. So Ghana Gas is building an ultramoding, which is about almost about 65% on course the project and um, it is going to serve the community and it's going to serve most of the West African sub-region because of uh, how it's going to be equipped with ultra modern um, facilities in that project. So this one is situated in the Ellen Bella district as well. So basically some of the key projects, Ghana Gas is also building an AstroTef which is one of the uh, the one of the biggest astroturf in the area as a result of the um, the prices of the LPG 
we've reduced twenty dollars per metric ton of any price of the LPG, and that has been set aside. That was a board decision at that time, set aside and put in a kitty for that development. So that money has accrued to about five point six million, and that is what we're using for the project affected communities in the area. So basically, that is that is it for the Nzema Kotoko Football Club. Ghana Gas is building an astro turf for them. And I'm surprised the MP didn't see that one as well. We are building a modern astro turf for them in the Elembele constituency there, an area called Ambim, in the Aya community, opposite the Aya Community Center in, for the Enzema Kotoko Football Club as well.